What's going on, guys? It's Zara again. Welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. Any of you finally, finally got to see the death, the fall of the Viper King? It happened last episode, in episode 39. Viper King finally fell thanks to the noble sacrifice of Seth. Seth died to the Viper King's bolt caster, but it was a death worthy. Of, it was a death worthy of the noob. It was a death worthy of the Uchiha. Now we have people we, that need to upgrade. I know I keep showing this, but I want you guys going. Why the fuck does he have that? You know, death from above, evasive, cutthroat. Need to replace uh, Seth. He was a shinobi. Adolfo Dagger Hernandez shall replace shall replace uh, Seth for us. Really wish we didn't lose him. But the Abigail buddy, Dad. Uh, there's we have a lot of wounded, shaken people though. Even Kevin is currently shaken still. That's why he he wasn't even in that mission. His will would have been zero, and if we ran, and he would have taken a shit ton of damage from all that. Oh, that was the only person I needed upgrading. Okay, fine with just one person. No, what we need to do. Work is well underway, Commander. Okay, only needs one more day until. Predecessor was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. Yeah, she was. I might have to finish my uh, run through of XCOM Enemy Within too later on. I'll probably replace this one, I don't even though I should have done the other. Wanting to keep an eye on Tigan, but at this point, we need all the help we can get. Defense Matrix, we're going to keep that going because just because I, if I remember right, there is one at one point where you have to defend the Avenger as part of the story, and I want to have a Defense Matrix just in case. Now, we have a shit ton of supplies and stuff now. All we need is to wait one more day for that research to be done. So all we need to do is wait. Landmark. Commander, our, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in New Mexico have brought us reports of activity that, may, that we may want to investigate. Time to investigate five days, and a reward will be an engineer. We're not going to... We're not going to uh, worry about that just now. 10, Eastern United States. I think that was the UFO that was chasing after us, too. I think they went over there to refuel. These guys just happened to see it, and we decided to take them out. Bonfire has alien alloys. But for now... I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. We've recovered enough of the advent armor to begin repurposing the outer plates something better suited for our soldiers. Material itself seems to be the same as what the aliens utilized throughout the Avengers whole. Extremely durable substance with an unusual ambi ambient magnetic property. An armor component, the magnetic field surrounding these plates will actually provide additional protection against magnetic-based weaponry. Most notably, the gauze weaponry, commonly equipped by the Advent. Richard Tigan. Predator armor, reinforced frame, Delirium. That would be done. Exosuit can be and in the spider suit. Perfect. Reinforced frame for the spark units. Predator armor. Spider suit. Oh, that's the grapple hook suit. Fuck yeah. Ooh, and the exosuit. Power assisted pr armor prototype. We combine the power assisted armor prototypes we've been working on with some of the advent plating we discovered we recovered. We could develop a heavy a heavier variant of our plated armor. 
more importantly, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor, combining significant defensive and offensive capabilities in a single unit. But, this is what we need. Although it had been years since I conducted my last autopsy, I found the process returned to me quite naturally. This subject was perhaps less intimidating because of its similarities to varying reptile species found naturally on Earth. Because of extensive cytogenetic modifications to the subject's chromosomes, this could very well be the only male variant in the entire species. Interesting. All right, all right. I'm digging this. Battlefield Medicine. right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Mike's gonna get the spider suit once it's done. Avenger plotting new course. Shit, he's right there. No, it was supposed to be delayed by two. Wait, that was just the dark event. Shit. We need to attack this. If we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Don't worry, we will. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Let's see what they have to say. Despite an extensive study of Dr. Valen's research reports. I have yet to discover how she came to acquire such an impressive understanding of the processes involved in the editing and manipulation of alien genetic material. Having carefully studied what remains of Dr. Vallon's personal research reports, I've slowly come to understand the depths of her intellectual curiosity to the end degree and the degree to which she was consumed by her ambition. By reversing by reversing key changes in the Viper's genetic structure, traits intentionally suppressed by the alien, she created this Subject Gamma, the Viper King. The idea of a Viper Patriarch in itself is, in, is intriguing, considering there have been no previous sightings of any male member of the species. Bone theorizes may have been an, in, an intentional form of population control. The elders have restricted their, subor their subordinate species' ability to breed. Having seen the apparent nesting site created by Gamma and the discovery of egg clutches, none of which were viable for sampling, I can say with some confidence that that creature did immediately set out to pursue with a natural instinct that had long since been restrained through genetic tampering. As of yet, I have no explanation as to how the viper's venom glands were infected in such a way to change their natural form, function so dramatically, further study will be, need, will be necessary. But I've promised to allow some of Gamma's remains to be utilized towards, towards the new conceptual armor design. Richard Tigan. The Serpent Suit. Physically. Advent shield bearers are quite similar to the bulk of Advent's forces, and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. All right. Time to complete the uh, alien alloys search. Commander, that 
UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive maneuvers. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. We're in the clear, Commander. No further sign of the pursuing UFO. Avenger plotting new course. I hate that thing. That obviously wasn't the UFO that we that we that was uh that we picked up. Is that another Avatar project piece? Commander, aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We're probably gonna fail this, guys. I need to hit this as soon as possible. I need to hit that as soon as we're done with the exosuit and the shield bearer autopsy. Experimental heavy weapon. Okay. Let's see, where's the experimental heavy weapon? There it is. It'll take six days. Shit. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. There. Okay. Once this is done, we're assaulting that new Brazil, that new Brazil area. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Well, I don't really have that much shit to use. Got some new staff available. I think I need Sarah Robinson. It'll help with research. Aliens increase the strength of their encryption, increasing all intel costs by 100% for a month. Aliens improve their threat response procedure, guaranteeing reinforcements at all grill ops for a month. That's not bad. I can deal with that. That just gives me more parts. My team can easily handle anything they throw at me. I'll have to go there afterwards. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. These shield bearers are not all that dissimilar from their various advent peers. Their armor is perhaps the most distinctive feature differentiating them. As is usually the case, our, tro the, our troopers came up with a designation for this particular subject, currently known as the shield bearer. Initial indications are that it that technically on that is technically on par with Advent's other humanoid field units. No particular mental or physical advantages over the officers or other units. The primary d differences seem to lie in the armor suit itself, which is heavily reinforced with multiple layers of composite material woven from what I can only surmise to be some variation of the alien alloys. I intend on leaving metallurgy and structural analysis to Shen and her team. We will no doubt find a means of integrating her findings into various experimental armor concepts of our own. Richard Tigan. Experimental armor. Now, let's start our research on Lyrium. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Hello, Commander. Ah, here we are. The aptly named Predator armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. Ah, uh, it's my bolt caster one. I like that showing off the bolt caster. That's cool. 
That's fucking awesome. I love that. But we need more supplies now if we're going to reinforce the frame of our other units. chance to take a closer look at some of the advent weapons recovered from the field. The alloy used in their frames is significantly lighter, making them more suited to the human form. I'm guessing it's the same material we've seen them using all over the colonies, but they'd have to be producing it from something here on Earth. They seem to have an endless supply of this stuff. Or they're just bringing things in from other... other places. But yeah, after we're done taking on the black side here, we'll come over here and grab the and grab the resistance cache. Actually, you know what? Defense facility now operational. Currently unstaffed engineer and okay defense st turret stats increased. Now we'll finish this. Operation Dragon Queen. Extract a VIP from Advent City. Another engineer. Fine. Setting course for Mexico. No. Sorry, I can't. I can't bring any more spark soldiers there. I don't want to lose. My, I don't want to lose them. Sorry, Kev, but your character is shaken. I can't bring him along either. I'll bring Lucas along. Uh, what is Sonar? What are you, Sonar? Soldier ability. She is a specialist. Oh yeah, she's got the I should have noticed the frickin' thing above her head. You have a shard gun. Which means you'd probably get better use out of... Skulljack and the Exosuit. Nice. All right. He's also got a rocket launcher. That'll come in handy. But with that, I'll have to cut it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you liked it, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. There are so many more episodes of this you guys can view. This is episode 40. So you have 39 extra episodes you guys can go back and watch. And as always, I will see you in my next video. And remember, you don't lose, you learn. Gamers, game on.